Hi everyone, this is Mindy Quammen with Ohio Real Title, and we have a very special guest today that is going to be on the Coffee Talk, and um, I just can't wait to introduce her. She's just the kindest person I know, and I'm extremely biased because I am interviewing my daughter today, <laughs> Megan Quammen. She is a photographer and also works for Digital Sandwich and does a lot of marketing and excellent, she's an excellent resource for realtors. So it's no surprise that my daughter is in real estate because those of you that know me, I have grown up in the real estate industry and have worked, I um, helped my dad and, and managed a brokerage for several years and uh, also worked in the title world for gosh, lots and lots and lots of years. And so anyways, now I have a son that is doing uh, residential loan officer work and a daughter that is doing the creative side of things by doing photography and Matterport for realtors and also um, doing some social media marketing for realtors uh, through, like I said, it's called a digital sandwich. So without further ado, let me introduce my daughter to you, Megan Quammen. Hi, Megan Quammen. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? I'm good. Good. You know, living the life. <laughs> All right. So I, I just told him a little bit about what you're up to in your career life and how you've been working as a photographer doing residential real estate. And also you've been working in the marketing realm of things, doing videos and social media and all kinds of neat content um, at Digital Sandwich, which is located in Cuyahoga Falls. And for those of you that are viewing this, if you go back in the archives, you can see we did an interview with Adam from Digital Sandwich. And mm -hmm. so Adam and Megan worked together. And Megan, you've actually spoken with realtors about um, things that you can do with all the host of products that you and Adam work on. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Yes, so we have had a couple realtors come in and ask for social media and ask for marketing in the realm of ads. So I understand in the older days you had ads in the newspapers or ads on billboards, which still happen nowadays, but the social media is very important when it comes to marketing yourself, whether you have experience in photography, videography, ads, any of that sort, um, we are happy to help you and push you in that right direction. Also, I have learned that the, the best video is the video that's made, not just the video that you think is cinematic or not. So if you get out your camera and you keep practicing or, or do any of that, we are happy to post it out for you on social media. And also, I do photography for homes, and we can definitely make any video or anything of that sort to market yourself and also market all of your homes that you post. And it's just a way to relate to the people out there uh, that are looking for a home, not if they're looking for a home now, but when, if they're looking for a home in the future, have a friend um, who knows you or anything of that sort. The, I think one of the neatest things is when a realtor goes all out on their marketing and somebody comes and says, I want you to do my home like that because you did so well on so-and-so's home. So just keep that in mind that it's not for the listing right now that you're aiming for, but it's the next couple listings you're going to get for the way you market yourself. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us a little bit more about the photography side of things because I think it's important for you to identify. Initially, when you began and you started to focus on residential real estate as um, something you wanted to get more involved in. You just began with the photography. Then you mm -hmm. got a little bit into working with another photographer that did drone work, which you learned, and you learned about that at the news station because you did a lot of drone work when you worked for, uh, what was it? What, what was the news station? That was Channel 19, Channel 19. News. Cleveland 19s. Yeah, yeah. So, but then you got into a thing called Matterport, which is also known as like 3D photography, right? So mm -hmm. tell us, I mean, all those things have their own dimensions. And I know a lot of realtors watch this and um, people that are tied to the real estate industry. So tell us a little bit, like, what does all that mean? 
Okay, so I'll break it down. I'll start at the very beginning. So most um, homes have photos and the photos generally will sell the homes. So just basic photography is necessary for any home. Um, and that is important to get professional photography done in order to showcase the home in the best way possible. So making sure that you have good, clear photos, bright enough to see the room, but to showcase it as, as well. But I feel like the best value that's out there is Matterport at this point, because not, especially in COVID, um, not only because you get professional photos out of it, but anybody could walk through the home multiple times and be able to see all the details and be able to get the full experience. And the nice thing for the people who get Matterport on their homes is they only have to stage the home once and it looks beautiful for any time any person walks through it. So there's not like a sock on the floor accidentally or whatever. It's perfectly staged and they only have to do it one time until a serious buyer is ready to come in and look at the home, uh, which I feel is an awesome benefit. It gives all of the realtors back their time. That saves you from going out and looking at homes for multiple hours with all kinds of people. You can send the link, they can walk through it, tell you if they like it. Mm -hmm. If they don't like it, it's not a waste of your time. It's not a waste of their time either. Mm -hmm. I feel as if that would be the best value and the best use of your time because you receive not only professional photos, but you receive a virtual tour and um, it's, it's easy and you get your time back. And also, doesn't it come with a floor plan? Tell us a little bit. Or yep, so the floor the plan... Dollhouse. Mm -hmm. So the dollhouse view is the virtual tour. So when it comes up, you go, there's like a dollhouse that spins like this okay. and you click in and you go into the room and you can walk around. But if you don't want to control it, there's also a slide, uh, like a slideshow feature where you can like click on it and it'll walk you through each individual room. So in a way, that's kind of like a, the video realm that Matterport brings. It's also all for 4K for all of you photography people out there or, or people that are watching uh, 4K photos and so extremely clear. Um, I would I feel like the camera does a really good job. It's less like editing and less manipulating of the photos. It is the natural, um, non like warped or any any sort of like making the room look larger. I I hear that. Realtors don't like the fisheye view of some rooms, and this gives you the full view of it without having any problems of that sort. So does it give measurements of the rooms? Yes. So if you pay $15, you get a schematic floor plan along with it, and that will measure out the full floor plan and um, the square footage of the home. I, I hear it's not completely accurate, but it's about 95% accurate um, to what the house is in, in square footage wise. And it depends on the rooms you do. If you do all the rooms, some people don't want their like organizing, non-organized basement rooms done. So that's obviously not gonna be in the tour um, and won't be in the floor plan, but there's an idea that that is there. So that's why it's not completely accurate because there's some rooms that we don't do if people ask us not to. Well, that's true. I didn't think of that. Yeah. Okay. So tell us about the process when you do Matterport. So you go into a house and like the realtor calls you and then you go and, and what happens? I mean, how long does this take? Like for those agents out there that have never done Matterport before. So we come into the home. The home should be all staged. Lights should be on. Fans should be off because that makes a weird little <laughs> disc on the ceiling. Um, okay. And so once everything is completely done, uh -huh. we come in and it takes about an hour or two, depending on the home. And that depends on how big the home is or surprisingly, our smaller homes take longer because there's more rooms and more scans. We have to, to it, there's less room to scan at a time. So it takes more time to get each square footage of the home versus a big home that's very open, less scans, okay. and you see everything. So whether it's a small home, whether it's a big home, it's gonna take about two hours. 
or more. So we tell everybody it's about an hour that it takes. Mm -hmm. And then we send it in. We send it out that night and we get it the next day and we walk through, get all of your photos and you should have it by that next day. So it takes about two days for everything to be processed because we have to send it out to get it all um, like put together. But aside from that, it's pretty quick um, because of what you're actually getting out of it. That's amazing how quickly they, they get it back to us actually. So, uh, but since there is a tour involved and since Matterport does own all of the tours that are done, there is a hosting fee. So when you get the home done, a lot of the homes are flying off the market right now. They are selling super quick and Matterport actually helps sell them really quick. So a lot of the time you won't have to pay the hosting fee because three months um, for free and then after three months, it's $10 a month. So it's kind of like a Netflix subscription mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, to just get, you know, the whole the house sold, but also to compensate uh, Matterport for hosting our tour. Okay, good to know. I did not know that. That's excellent. And so tell us a little bit about a customer testimonial or like what has happened since you've begun doing Matterport? I mean, you say the houses sell faster. What has your experience been? So my experience has been I'll I'll go do a tour <laughs> and sometimes they'll even uh, sell the first day that it's on the market. So I did a house down the street from where I live, went and did the tour, mm -hmm. got it out the next day, and the house was sold by that afternoon. So it and these people were in Florida, so they weren't even local. It just sold like that quickly. Well, don't you think that that Matterport helped it because I mean, you can literally walk, mm -hmm. do a virtual walkthrough. Yep. So they walked through the house. They they absolutely loved it. They saw the outside. They were like, this is awesome. Being out of town, we could see the house as if we were walking through it. And it's not just photos. So it's like, for example, I was looking at a couple homes on 3D and I turned around and I saw the photos of the house to see what it looked like just as the photos. I went through the Matterport and looked at it that way. I was shocked. I was like, oh my goodness, like <laughs> there's a fridge right next to the stairs and the back door in the basement. So I open up the fridge, somebody's coming up the stairs. I'm gonna, you know, I didn't see that in the photos because they hid it. They hid it so you couldn't see that weird yeah. layout of the house. But in the Matterport, I could turn around and be like, oh, yikes, not so sure about that. Or, oh, wow, like I had no idea there's a giant window back here. That's beautiful. Uh -huh. So you can get the full aspect of the house. Very neat. So tell us a little bit, so thank you for telling us about Matterport. Tell us a little bit about just the photography side of things. So you still enjoy just taking good old fashioned photos, but now they're of course digital. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> tell us a little bit about that. Well, um, for smaller homes or homes that you wanna showcase certain features of the home, uh, the old fashioned photography is just as good mm -hmm. and we have a wider lens that we'll bring in and I do HDR photos, which is where the light, there's three different photos that are taken, real bright, real dark, and it seems together. So then you get the, the married of the two of a beautiful home um, photo where the windows aren't blown out, they're nice and crisp and the room is still nice and bright, but not too bright. So we're able to get that full embodiment of the home even through the old-fashioned photos and so I I'll go shoot them and I normally have them done within 24 hours of the shoot I edit those and I do the outside photos and all of that mm -hmm. uh, kind of thing so outside photos inside photos and you have them within 24 hours to post up awesome so, awesome yeah well so so what about 3D photography on Realtor.com or some of the other, like, so the Realtor wants to put it out there and, you know, what, um, does that work? I mean, can they take that Matterport and, like, use it, put it where they want, or how, how does that work? Yes, so Matterport is compatible with Realtor.com and social media, so you get okay. little previews of the home. So you can post a little preview and put a link to Realtor.com, the listing. You can put a link to any um, different social media content. Or 
I believe you can like put links on some of the other realtor sites. I'm not 100% sure on which all it's compatible with now, but I know for, for sure they work with realtor.com. Awesome. All right. So Megan, some people out there, realtors, they take their own photos what, or for sale by owners or something like that. So why professional photography? <laughs> why does it matter? You did professional photography in college. You, mm -hmm. you went to school and graduated with a, a degree learning about all these different things. Why, I mean, why do we need to call you? <laughs> because believe it or not, the photos sell the home. So if you have a blurry photo or something that's not quite uh, appealing in the home, I'm sure the iPhones nowadays are, they're, you're getting pretty good, but they're not quite there yet. Um, so making sure that you have a professional photographer come in to do your photos um, is key because they'll showcase the home the best they can. Um, and I will be able to showcase the home for what is there and get the full encapturement of those photos versus something that's on an iPhone that may be smeared or not completely wide or anything of that sort. So sorry, but I don't recommend <laughs> iPhone photos for homes. <laughs> so give me a call and I will help you out. I know. Some, <laughs> some of those photos you see online, you're like, wow, huh? Yikes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they took that. So. All right. So let's see. So my last question I have is just a little bit more about drones. Do you like the idea of drones on residential properties? Tell us a little bit about your experience with drones. <laughs> drones are definitely a great thing for a big property, um, not only to just show the home, but to show the area, and not even for big properties, for any property really, to show the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So you could spin it around and say, here's the local school nearby. Oh, there's the grocery store. And then here's where the home is located. So it gives the full perspective of that area. Mm -hmm. And there's now, um, I haven't done this on a home quite yet, but there is technology where it almost gives like the 3D perspective, like of a video oh. above the homes and above the neighborhoods. We've done it with hotels. We've done it with apartment buildings. So that's even a possibility to get the full scope of it, kind of like Google Earth, if you've seen that very similar idea and you can click on a link and it'll take you into the home as 3d so there's that opportunity as well not quite sure on the pricing with that as of right now but we could definitely do drone photos on any homes okay. and i definitely recommend walking through doing um videos uh all you realtors show the schools show the um grocery stores different things in the area and then show the home so if you want to do a video, if you want to do drone photos or even just mm -hmm. photos of the area, I recommend showcasing here is, for example, Silver Lake. Here's the lake. Here's the local school. So when people are looking online, whether it is through Matterport, through photos, whatever it is, they get the full aspect of that neighborhood and not just the home. Mm -hmm. I think that also helps sell the property through media. Yeah, that's excellent. That's a really, really good point. And that's where Digital Sandwich comes into play because that's where putting together even a little mini video, I mean, even tied into this drone idea, where if you marry those together, I mean, it, it would really help sell certain properties. I love that idea. Mm -hmm. I think that's excellent. I see mm -hmm. that. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, go ahead. It gets the realtor's face out there too, so they recognize you on mm -hmm. social media. Absolutely, yeah. Well, I usually ask my coffee talk uh, people that I interview, I usually ask them for a fun fact about themselves just because it just makes it personal. And I didn't ask you that. But I mean, oh, no. since you're my daughter, I mean, I know you love to windsurf. I know um, you're, you're an avid skier and a ski instructor. So that's kind of fun. Some fun facts mm -hmm. about, about you. So it's, it's been an absolute joy to interview you, Megan. And you're a phenomenal photographer, and you do a great job at Digital Sandwich as well. So we really appreciate you taking the time today to be on this show. And um, yeah, and it's, it's fun to Thank see you, you so working. Much for having me. Yeah, it's fun to see you working in in residential real estate and enjoying that. And um, I know you just appreciate 
uh, starting your career and having these wonderful opportunities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. I feel like being in the real estate world, it's like a second family having a lot of people that I, I knew, you know, going to the office with you or events, uh, getting to meet everybody. It's, it's neat to get to actually work for them too. So. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you. We're going to sign off now. Yeah. All right. Thank okay. you. Bye. Thank you. Thanks for joining us for Coffee Talk today. It's been a lot of fun. And if you need any services for Megan Quammen, you can see her information below. <laughs>